Um, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, with, in relation to that interview with the Commissioner, uh, when she uses language like, you know, that it's leveled off, um, does that not strike a, first of all, slightly complacent note, but also it feels more like she is commenting on crime as opposed to acting to the challenge of crime? I don't, I don't think so. I think she, I mean, she's done. She doesn't, and she, she's done. She doesn't. She doesn't do interviews and do media and respond to questions. She's criticised for not doing media and responding to questions. And when she does, she's accused of being a commentator rather, rather than a police officer. And so, look, she's not. Look, the, the, our, our commissioner is not complacent in the slightest. I think what what she's trying to demonstrate is that the policing is starting to have an impact. Nowhere near. The levels we'd want to see, but it's starting to have an impact in a positive sense of the word. Okay, Mr. But you, you might excuse me for being slightly confused, therefore, because it seems that even though the, she's saying it's levelled off, um, as it stands at the moment, we seem to have had the same number of people who've been killed up to this time in January as we had last time. In fact, I have, by our calculation, seven people uh, murdered in London, as opposed to six by this time last year. Now, okay, we can, you know, go on about numbers, but whatever it is, it seems to me that what is different is that last year there was horror about it and outrage. What I'm worrying about is that this is becoming slightly normalised now. No, well, there's a number of points raised there, that, that, and I, I want to respond in a sensitive manner because there could be bereaved family members watching this, watching this uh, exchange. So uh, there's two things. One is. What the Commissioner was talking about was the data we have in relation to uh, knives used to injure people where the victim is below the age of 25. That's where there's a particular concern. And what the Commissioner was referring to is in the seven months towards the end of last year, we'd seen a reduction from the previous year. That's the first point. The second point is it's just worth examining for a moment the homicides that are taking place now and which the Commissioner has referred to. So in relation to the homicides uh, in the first few weeks of this year, uh, a number of them have been domestic violence homicides, which, which, are, which are as tragic and as concerning. In fact, last year we saw an increase in the number of domestic violence homicides. And so the reason why I suspect uh, that there was, there was huge concern last year was also the nature of the homicides there in a public space uh, and people concerned. So, I don't want to trivial any homicide is, is very, very serious, but, but I don't want you to think anybody's normalising a homicide. Homicides are, are literally the most serious uh, crime no, you can commit. Fair, fair, fair enough, Mr. Member. Are you, are you aware of the level of exasperation that there is amongst the public and the sense in which there seems to be no leadership from you and the Commissioner on this issue? Full of good intentions, perhaps but no real leadership. As, as my colleague said earlier, a lot of leadership coming from London on Brexit and things like this. When it comes to this, for example, this week, you started our, our meeting today by talking about the new appointee of the Violent Crime Reduction Unit. Um, now, so far as I can see, Mr. Mayor, that was a perfect opportunity to uh, appoint a crime specialist. I cannot see for the life of me what brilliant politician though she might be on a local level, what exactly uh, her credentials are for this job. This, this requires someone who is steeped in surely violent crime. Well, there's another point to raise there, Chair, uh, which I'll deal with in, in turn. So first, in relation to the issue of uh, violent crime and uh, exasperation, uh, of course I understand the concerns of Londoners in relation to the increase in uh, violent crime across our city, as indeed across the entire country over the last uh, five years. I'm a Londoner, raising my family in this uh, city, so I feel it as a parent, as a Londoner, and of course, as the uh, mayor. And that's one of the reasons why I don't understand for the life of me why the previous mayor, knowing there are these massive cuts, didn't increase council tax as he was entitled to do so, to help support our police, rather than seeing a massive decline in police officer I don't numbers. Really now, care about it, now the reality is, well, the, the, there's some of us says he doesn't care about police officer numbers. I find that astonishing. But, you know, council tax precept of increases pays for police officers, and so he should care about police officer. No, no, I don't care about the administration. You've run out of time. Uh, 